Hi, welcome to CG Dive. This is a quick tip video about a specific problem with the Rigify face rig. I already made a video about the Rigify face rig, so if you want to learn how to align these bones and how to generate the rig, then you can watch that video. You'll find a link in the video description. In this video, I want to cover a common question that people have, and that is why aren't there any deformation bones for the eyes and teeth? If I generate this rig quickly, you'll see what I mean. Here's the generated rig. I'm going to hide the meta rig for a second and unhide layer 29 here. And let's isolate the rig. Layer 29 is where all of the deformation bones live for Rigify. And you can see that there are deformation bones for the lips. These are the tongue bones. There are eyelids and eyebrows and so on and so forth. However, there are no eye bones and no bones for the teeth here. I'm not sure why it was designed this way, but there are no deformation bones. And so what we can do in Blender is to go to the ORG bones, to layer 31 here, and let's hide the main character mesh here. And now if I wanted to connect the eye object to the rig, my only option is to select the eye and shift select the rig and then go to pose mode, select the eye bone and press control P and parent directly to the bone. And that will work. That will work in Blender. However, there are different reasons why you may want to parent these eye objects and teeth objects using weights and not parent them directly to a bone. For example, you may want to export the character to a game engine or to another application in which case you need to attach your meshes to your bones using weights. Or you may want to keep your whole character as a single mesh rather than splitting it into body, left eye, right eye, teeth, upper teeth, lower teeth, and so on. So let's see how we can fix this. Uh, I'll actually show you two approaches and they'll both be quite simple and easy to follow. So now I'm going to undo before I generated the rig. Now I have my meta rig here, I'm going to isolate it. And if I zoom in, you'll see that in the meta rig, we have bones for the teeth and for the eyes. So let's select these bones, both eye bones and both teeth bones. And here in pose mode, I'm going to press Shift H to hide all other bones and then go to edit mode and again press Shift H. And now in edit mode, I'm going to press Shift D and duplicate all of these bones. And I'm going to right click. This way I cancel the movement of the bones after the duplication. So now they're perfectly overlapping with the bones that they were copied from. Now I can switch my pivot point to individual origins and press S to scale these bones up a little bit. How much doesn't matter. I just want to distinguish between the original bones and the copies. And these copies will become the deformation bones that we need. We can achieve this by giving them a super copy rig type, which will create deformation bones. But before we do that, we want to make sure that these bones will move with the actual face rig. Right now, they're not parented in a way that will give us this behavior. So what we need to do is parent the copied bones to the original bones that they were co copied from. So for example, for the upper teeth, I want to parent it to the original upper teeth bone. Control P and keep offset. Make sure that you enable X-ray here so that you can see the bones underneath. And then I'm going to parent the lower teeth copy to the original lower teeth bone. The left eye copy to the original left eye bone. And same on the right side. Okay, now I'm going to go to pose mode and set the rig types. So we are going to be setting the rig types for the larger bones, for the copies. Go to the bone tab, go to rigify type and set a basic super copy rig type and disable control. All we want from these bones is to create deformation bones. Control bones for these face parts already exist. So we just need a deform bone. So same here, super copy and disable control. Same with the left eye. Super copy, disable control, and on the right side, super copy, disable control. Now I'm going to press Alt H to unhide all bones and press slash to go out of local mode. 
and generate my rig. Okay, now if I go to layer 29 and isolate the rig, you'll see that teeth bones and eye bones were created in the deformation layer. These bones have the deform option on, which means that they'll be used in vertex weighting. Let's hide the meta rig. And now I can select my character and then the generated rig and press Ctrl P and parent with automatic weights. And for the eyes and teeth, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to hide the main character mesh first and then select the eye objects and the teeth objects and then shift select the generated rig, press Ctrl P and choose with empty groups. And then I'll go to the left eye, go to object data properties and under vertex groups, expand the search field and look for I. And here it is, DEFIL001. I'm going to select it, go to edit mode, select all vertices by pressing A, and click assign with a weight of one. Same on the other side. Go to edit mode for this I, select all vertices, highlight the I.R vertex group and assign a weight of one. Okay, let's go to the teeth, select the upper teeth, select all vertices in edit mode, look for teeth over here, and teeth.t, T stands for top, is the vertex group that I want. I'm going to assign a weight of one again. And same for the lower teeth, select all vertices, select the teeth B vertex group and click assign. And we also have a tongue, which I'm going to try to parent with automatic weights. Okay. And now if I try to manipulate the, the jaw, for example, you'll see that the lower teeth are moving with the jaw. And if I move the eye widget, the eyes are clearly reacting to this widget. So we successfully parented them to our rig using weights. And this is the approach that I would recommend in general. Um, there is one little problem with it. If we look at the deformation bones, the deformation Teeth bone has this 001 suffix, same with the lower teeth, same with the eyes. That is because we duplicated these bones in the meta rig and that always creates this suffix. That is not such a big problem. We could have avoided this by renaming the duplicated bones in the meta rig. So here is my meta rig and I could press F2 here and name this bone teeth upper or something like that, to avoid the 001 suffix. And that is certainly a solution. I should point out, however, that you can rename these duplicated bones, but do not rename the original bones. You should always be very careful with the whole face rig, and you should avoid changing names, deleting bones, and so on. And now, just for fun, I'm going to start over, and I'm going to show you an alternative way to solve this problem. This solution was given to me in the comments to the original face rig video. So thank you very much, Steven. Now this solution is a little bit unusual. As I just said, you should be very careful with the face rig and you shouldn't change anything about it. However, as Steven pointed out, instead of duplicating the teeth and eye bones, we can simply go to the meta rig in pose mode, select the teeth bones, for example, and simply give a rig type to these existing bones of the face rig. So I'm going to make this a super copy and disable control. Same on the upper teeth. Same with the eyes. And I would expect that this would make Rigify explode. However, surprisingly, it does work. I'll generate this rig. And if I look under layer 29, 
I have teeth bones, deformation teeth bones, and deformation eye bones. And they are also named properly without the 001 suffix. So this solution is really, really nice, but it's kind of against the rules of Rigify. So be careful with it. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip video. Special thanks to my patrons. If you want to get early access to CG Dive content, you can get it on Gumroad and Patreon. And I hope you'll tune in for the next video.